What's up guys? Golfing Pandas, Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you a putter head that I have. And and it's not so much that it's for the awesome private university of Northwestern in Evanston, Illinois. And that it even says go Wildcats on the side. That's cool. Definitely cool. But what I wanted to show you is give you a little tour of this putter head. And then in another video, I'm going to actually install finally a putter shaft in here. And I'll show you that. That'll be a little bit of an instructional video. But if you're looking for... Um, putters that are logoed with something that you really care about, like uh, often a company, other Big Ten schools, other non-Big Ten schools. <laughs> yeah. That's the only choice you have. Uh, they often come from this company, which I think is Lynx Walker. And so they're all going to be generally the same. Um, I've been pretty impressed with this. Even when I was a kid, I remember seeing these things and always wanted one. So I, uh, so I finally got one in my school. Uh, there is this... You know, it's a mallet style head, but it's not as big, and it's slightly like egg shaped with the edge cut off here. Um, then a lot of, you know, current modern mallet style putters, which tend to be either really big or have kind of starship design with like nacelles hanging off. This is kind of a little bit of a, more of an old school, and the the arrow there kind of reminds me of the old Callaway Big Berthas, and even the shape kind of reminds me of the Callaway Big Bertha heads when they were actually bigger than everything else, but obviously like half the size of everything now. Um, what kind of makes this interesting is this, I think this is kind of some sort of, uh, like a acrylic material. So the black part here, I think is like an acrylic, a plastic of some sort. Kind of reminds me, it feels like, you know, billiard balls. And But it, this thing is heavy. And where it's heavy is this weight here on the bottom, which I think is like, like literally a block of brass, man. Um, I don't know how, you know, I could weigh it, but I always feel like when people put things on a scale, it doesn't really give me any scale. But this thing is heavy. Uh, this would hurt to be hit with. And so that's kind of nice. It gives you a nice smooth putting motion, you know. The weight kind of smooths it all out. Um, keeps the club head moving, the putter head moving, even when you impact that ball so that you don't get a sudden... Uh, loss of inertia, you know, with that extra weight to get this nice smooth action. Now, I don't know that this is a brass weight in here. You can see here it's like a gold in the whole area where I think the metal is, but that could be, it could just be like a steel weight or a lead weight or whatever, and then they just paint it with like a gold finish um, to make it look like that. So, the tradition by Lynx Walker, I think you'll see this type of club head on a lot of logoed putters. Um, but they've done a nice job here, and I really like it. The Northwestern N. Go Cats! And then on the side back here, I also like that it says, Go Wildcats. So, you know, if you go to a different school, you'll probably have that. Now, the other thing I'll show you here is that the hole for this uh, putter is totally vertical. So what you're going to want is a putter shaft that either comes up and has the kick out here, or, you know, as a kind of a... A, a couple kicks, you know, in fact, what you, what a lot of people often want is a kick up here, uh, um, the one that kicks forward so that your putter shaft is lined up with the face of the club, but some people don't care, but either way, you're not going to want a straight putter shaft because otherwise it's going to stick straight up like a car antenna. Now they've drilled all the way through the acrylic, as far as I can tell, into the weight itself, and that's why I think it is brass because, you know, I'm getting kind of a, a gold copperish tone in there, and so... It uh, it should kind of self-center because it's it's the the drill bit you know is is pointed and so you get kind of this um, conical concavity down there. So you epoxy the shaft and put it in there, attach it, and you should be good to go after 24, 48 hours. Let it dry. So we will be doing that. I'll show you that to you. But I just wanted to show you the putter head, give you a kind of a a first look at it. Peter von Panda, out.